Hey, welcome back. This is the NMEA uh, Allstate Audition Double Bass Repertoire Audition Masterclass. We're now talking about melodic minor scales. You should have watched the major scale one first because there's a lot of stuff in there that I talk about, about scales in general, that you need to hear before uh, I talk about the minor scales. Anyway, uh, like the major scales, you need to have a PDF the one that was arranged by Bill Ritchie, but the one that has all of my fingerings, position markings, and other markings in there. Okay, these melodic minor scales are tough. Uh, don't be daunted. Uh, just remember that as you practice these and as you perform these for the recording, for the audition, just tell yourself, I'm trying the best that I can and everyone else has to play these too. So everyone has to play the same hard stuff. So uh, don't feel bad about yourself. Uh, remember that um, even if it's a real challenge, you are making yourself a better player by working on these really difficult minor scales. So uh, kudos to you just for even watching this video and wanting to take on the challenge. I find them difficult myself, and I'm a professional. OK. The uh, first minor scale on the list, the C-sharp minor. Here's what I suggest. Um, I know you have the fingerings, but it gets really tough on that G sharp because you have to find it on the thumb, and uh, a lot of people just don't like doing that. So it's pretty easy, as I talked about in the major scale video, to uh, find the E and the F sharp, and then the G sharp is the harder. So I suggest doing exercises. isolating an F-sharp, G-sharp before actually tackling this piece because once you uh, are able to find that G-sharp comfortably, finding the rest of the notes are pretty easy. Now once you get that high note, bunch your three fingers together, and I get this from the Petrocchi Simplified Higher Technique, uh, once you get those that high C sharp, bunch your first finger, second finger, and uh, third finger together, and you will easily find the B natural. And then shift while keeping your thumb anchored without moving your thumb, the A natural. And then your G sharp is still there because you never moved it. And then you're home free. Remember the trick with putting the heel up against the edge of the bass for the F-sharp, E-natural, and D-sharp. Get the B-natural on the D-string in fourth position. Easy note to find. So then you're home free. So uh, let's do that in tempo. pieces are written in D minor, so it's uh, not all that uh, foreign. This time the G is on a nice, friendly harmonic G, so you can find it that way. I suggest getting the harmonic G, A, stretch with the second finger, then shift to the C sharp. And again, like before, once you get that high note, bunch the first, second, and third fingers together allows you to find the lowered seventh, and then shift back to primary thumb position, second finger on the B flat, first finger on the A, thumb on the G, and you're home free. Let me play it. tips that I can give here. Let me just play it. So in that uh, 
Second measure, you're going to have to do a little bit of a pivot. I think I actually shifted, so I didn't really pivot. Second measure, first finger on the D sharp, second finger on the E sharp, fourth finger on the F sharp. Same thing in the top octave. First finger on the D sharp, second finger on the E sharp, fourth finger on the F sharp. Okay, I'll play it. Just trying to get through the scales to cover more stuff in less amount of time because I know you're busy you want to go back and play Fortnite so I'm joking I know you don't want to go back and play Fortnite you want to go back and practice for four more hours so um, either case I don't want to take too much of your time okay let's go to G minor here leverage that harmonic G okay and again Finding that E natural and F sharp in the intermediate position between fifth and sixth, you find it by jamming that edge of the hand up against the bass, reach with the fourth finger, and that's your F sharp. Okay, so here it is, you're starting in half position. second to look at this. So first finger on that G sharp, second finger on the A sharp, fourth finger on B. Similar pattern that you've seen before. Again you're going to have to find G sharp on your thumb. So this is another one of those difficult things. And this time you can just bunch all your fingers together, half step for each finger, in order to find the A sharp on the second finger and B natural on the third. And you don't have to do anything with your fingers. Your A natural on the descending part of the melodic minor scale is right there on first finger. And then you're going to have to scoot your thumb back to the harmonic G to get uh, G natural. So that's a little bit of a trick there. I'll, let me just go through the trick here. Let me get up to it. step, second finger for the A sharp, third finger for the B natural, A natural and the descending of the melodic is right there, first finger, and I scoop my thumb back for the harmonic G, and I'm home free. So let me just do that one more time. stuff in here. Do your scales. They make you a better player and like I said in the major scale video, most people don't spend enough time on these and uh, if you want to differentiate yourself, nail those scales to the wall. You will be the standout. Trust me on that. Okay, trust your teachers when they say you become a better player uh, by playing scales. Your intonation will improve immensely. So, I still do scales every day and uh, one of these days I'll actually get them right but I am going to keep practicing until my grave in the uh, pursuit of getting them right. And you should too. Now, go back and do whatever you were doing. Have a good time and good luck on your audition. Thank you.